looks good. Now I realize I didn't talk about this yesterday, but in case you don't have one of these machines, this is a shaper. Now I imagine most of you viewers know that. And it's kind of like a router, only it's a lot more heavy duty, as you can see. Now this is probably one of the largest router bits that I've got. And I'll actually be using this one later, that's why I got it out. But look at the difference. Now I'm going to leave these cutters in my shaper because there's a good chance I might want to use these again. However, what I am going to do is I'm going to put just a little tiny bit of oil on the edges here. Be careful not to cut myself because these are very sharp. And that way, if I get a lot of moisture down here this summer, which is possible, I don't need to worry about losing the keen edge on the cutter. Now you're thinking, well, that oil is going to sort of mark up the wood. Well, first time I turn this on at about 10,000 RPM, that's going to come flying off there in about a second. So I'm not too worried about this oil. Anyway. I'm ready for later. Now because of these holes that I've got, I am going to lose probably half an inch off here because i got to cut this off. Now I don't think it matters which is going to be the top and which is going to be the bottom. We'll have this one for the bottom. And this is very sharp here, so I want to round this over just a little. So if I grab onto the seat, I don't need to worry about cutting myself. Because right now I actually could. It's very sharp. That wood must be extremely dense.
Now with this larger bit, I'm going to take it off in maybe uh, two or three passes, maybe three passes, rather than trying to take it off all at once. Now I realize I didn't show the second cut because from the camera's point of view it was exactly the same. However, that should be okay. Just sand that over just lightly by hand now and it's done. I don't think I'm going to put any uh, varathane or anything on it. Just leave it the way it is. I thought you might like to see how that, uh, I don't know what they call that joint, a serrated type a join. It's not really a finger join. Well, it's kind of like a finger joint. Probably a name for it. I'll look it up. I went to several different sites and they all call it a profile knife. Well, all those cutters I think are profile knives. Anyway, they all gave it the same number. Number 690.552. My original thinking here was let's make it exactly the right height. And then I thought, yeah, but what if I make it an inch too high and it's all welded together? How am I going to shorten it? Well, now my thinking is, let's make it like a bicycle seat, adjustable. So that's what I'm going to do. Be a lot more work, but it'll be a lot more fun. In the meantime, that'll have to wait till tomorrow, because today I got a mess to clean up here.